I think every skater, including myself, wishes that they could lock into round rails like Jamie Foy. He just seems so comfortable and just solid every single time he gets onto a round rail. But for the average skater like you or me, round rails look like automatic death. And because I'm so scared, I listened to Jamie Foy's whole Nine Club episode looking for any sort of hack or tip that has to do with locking into round rails. Have a listen to this. When I skate my trucks, I put my bolt straight to the end of the of the thread. Nothing past, oh. and my, my, my wheel is just, yeah. Just, yeah, I shakes. love I love the shake. I love the shake, yeah. and also just like like for the reason that Shot puts maybe three washers on the inside of his truck is like if you just have your shit all the way out when you lock in, your wheels gonna immediately it's gonna get be pushed on the, on the further mm -hmm. to the furthest yeah. it can and it can be. And so most skaters set up their wheels like this, where there's just like a tiny bit of give. But Jamie Foy's wheels are like this; they slide a ton. That way, when he gets onto the rail, the wheel actually slides over like this. That way, the pinching point of his truck is as far out on the axle as it possibly can be. So the reason why I think this makes a difference is because it creates a more stable lock. The number one cardinal sin of rails is you never want to lock in on your toe edge because the least stable part of your foot is the toes and the front of your foot. So if you lock in on the toe side like this, there's a lot of give and the board's just going to flip right off the rail. But if you land on your heels, even if your toes are moving, your heel is slanted solid on the board the entire time so theoretically the more you can get that rail underneath the heels of your foot the more solid your lock should be and to test this out today I'm gonna do five 50 50s on the flat bar with my wheels shaking like this sliding all the way to the outside and then I'm gonna do five 50 50s with my wheels like this with the nut tightened down so that they don't move as much and then let you guys know which one I think is the better lock So with my regular wheel setup, I was at 62% accuracy with my 50-50s. But with Jamie Foy's hack, I was almost 10% higher than that. With the wheel sliding out, I really felt like the truck locked in a lot more solid. However, I do have to say with the wheel tightened down, it felt more stable popping in, but less stable actually on top of the rail. I made this video all about Jamie Foy's front crook technique. So if you're a fan of Jamie Foy, I definitely think you need to check out that video. Be sure to get yourself some Friday gear, make every single day Friday, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.